Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is Rusty78609 in Central Texas, USA, near Kingsland, Texas, about eight miles from Kingsland, Texas. And right now it's about 60 degrees. Hey, Google, what's the temperature in Kingsland, Texas? In Kingsland, it's currently 60. With a high of 75, it rained all night, but it ain't going to rain any during the day. So we need the rain, and a good time to get it is during the night. Why? Doesn't interrupt my day. <laughs> anyway, uh, again, from my home base here in Central Texas, I'm still alive in my 2019 Casita Travel Trailer. Interior space is about 84 square feet. I've been a long time RVer, as most of y'all know. And today is what? The day after yesterday, commonly known as today, right? Today is the first day of the rest of your life. Make it a good one. Get out and enjoy yourself. Do something that's exciting. You know, take a trip, but not a trip, not now, God Almighty. <clears throat> but again, you, you know, you can drive around and do all kind of stuff. Believe me, or start a project. Do something. You know, put a smile on your face. Think positive. Que sera, sera. Anyway, what about, what about the, hey, Google, what's the temperature in Bangor, Maine? The temperature in Bangor right now is 17 degrees. With a high of 36. Hey, Google, what's the temperature in Butte, Montana? In Butte right now, it's 12 degrees. With a high of 35. Hey, Google, what's the temperature in Fairbanks, Alaska? The temperature in Fairbanks right now is 22. A heat wave, 22 with a high of 30. Almost, you almost got above freezing. But anyway, hey, Google, tell us an ice joke. Why didn't the melons get married? Because they cantaloupe. <laughs> Oh, that's so corny. It's just sick. But anyway, what else can I tell you? Uh, I may do a video today of another R of an RV. There's two. There's one over in Marble Falls that was interesting. If I if they're open today, <clears throat> I'll go over and ask them if I can do a video of it. And then in, and then I may go by Rogers Motors. I'll just take a drive around the quote loop, so to speak, and see what we got going. But what else can I tell you? That's about it. Hey, this is a Trenton Clump. That's a smiling, grinning it. That's a teddy bear with my name on it. That's a that's Popeye and Olive Oil from the old Popeye cartoons. That's Betty Boop, Boop Boopy Doop from the 1930s. That's Mr. Bill. And behind them is a sticker that says Native Texan with a jalapeno on it. That's a million dollar bill, thousand yen note, five euro note, two dollar bill, a frugal RV gal sticker, a Deborah Dickinson sticker. They're, they both have YouTube channels. Check them out. And those, uh, that's Mr. Bo Jangles. Those are organic bananas. I'm getting low. I'll have to go to the grocery store and get some. And what else? Uh, that's uh, Olive Oil's bra, and that is a smiling face with nose, ear, and hair on it now. And that is a sticker, and it says that life is better in a casita. Is that correct? It is for me. And that's all that matters. Also, I'm thinking about, see my mattress set up over here? Well, I'll keep that wedge thing, but I'm thinking about getting me a mattress that's made for uh, Casita RVs from Southern Mattress out of, I thought I want to say Mississippi or somewhere. Yeah, they're, they're not cheap, but uh, it fits the whole area, so you get to use the whole bed instead of just, you know, part of it like I've got there. I've got a, like a twin bed set up there, and that would give me a, a full setup, which is bigger. Uh, do I need it? Not really. What do we got going on here? Yeesh. Uh, oh, okay, here we go. Let's do some comments, Rusty. Okay, let's do it. Okay, Hieronymus says, Nice vid in my old age. Night vision seems to be less also. RVing is a smarter way to live at this stage of life. Being outside of the city is a good way to avoid the current stuff. Hey, Google, what's the population of the United States? In 2018, 2018 the population, population of the United States of America, America was 327,167,434. The phone and this answered it. So it's 327 million. And then, hey, Google. What's the population of the world? In 
In 2017, the population of Earth was 7,530,360,149. 149 is the most important number. But anyway, having said that, just want, wanted to give you some things to help you keep this in perspective, so to speak. Uh, Benson Speed Shop, yippee, thank you. Cheap Laugh Kennedy, it's a person's name. Always enjoy your rides, thanks Rusty, love the blue bonnets. That song, K Said Ah Said Ah, was written by the team of Jay Livingston and Ray Ebbings for the Alfred Hitchcock movie, the Man Who Knew Too Much, 1956, for Doris Day. Okay, very good. Steel, it's a good song. Listen to it. Listen to the words. Uh, Steel Ten Adventures, my personal resident daily driver, LOL. After all this time, I still enjoy a tad of Rusty. Well, thank you, Steel Tent. Uh, this is Mike Wilson. Uh, suggestions, re your eyeballs. Take lutein and zeaxanthin supplements. Uh, I don't do that. Uh, I, I take uh, sometimes I take a daily vitamin, but that's it. But thank you, Mike. I'll read that when I, I'll read more when I get time. Taz mod. Afternoon, rusty trike man. There is something strange in the sky. Oh, it's the sun. Forty-five degrees in Salem, Oregon. They haven't seen the sun in a while. It says, "Did you ever see the mini series, The Martian Chronicles, with actor Rock Hudson?" Sort of a strange show. Well, I hear that. No, I didn't. Uh, anyway, David Lewis, RV frugal gal, was just appointed to go to Mars. She is assigned to meet a fellow named Rusty78609. Well, <laughs> anyway, old frugal. I wonder how she's doing. Taz Mod, howdy, Rusty Trike Man. Thank you. Dare tricks up. Good evening, sir. Greetings from Germany, and thanks. For, thank you for the drive. Der Trixa lives on the North Sea of Germany. <clears throat> Taz Mod, I drink all my hot and cold drinks with a straw. For me, it is easier and safer, especially when driving. Whatever. I drink mine out of a... I don't have my cup available, or I'd show you. Donnie o, Donna Ocasio. Good luck. On that run, people are freaking out on the toilet paper. I enjoyed the drive. Thanks for getting out for me today. I'll keep plotting and try to get my stuff situated and roll around like a tumbleweed, too. Good. Dertrixa says, nice shirt. Have a great day. Greetings from the North Sea. Well, greetings to you. Jimmy and Kathy Harrell. Never heard you mention smoking. Apparently, you do not smoke. No, I do not smoke. I did smoke uh, when I was a teenager and then into my early 20s, and I quit in my early 20s, and I haven't smoked since, and I'm glad. Saved my life. Uh, Jeff Weasel, or Wessel, sorry, Jeff Wessel on the Camp Rover. Nice-looking camper. A bit pricey, though. Lots of brands with, uh, lots of brands with, a long and good reputation competing with it. Yep. Uh, this is Angela. Hello, Angela. There's a song about it. Isn't there a song about Angela? I think so. Hey, Rusty, I did not know that about Doris Day. She was so beautiful. Speaking of, wow, I love the rides with you, man. You really know how to call my nerves. Thank you. Have a great day. P.S. Try some black tea. Good stuff. The blue bonnets are gorgeous. Now, I drink green tea. And uh, I put some of that uh, uh, honey in it. I put some honey in it, local honey. Randog 1951. Sir, I've driven across Texas six times and, and around it twice, heading from Seattle to Florida and back. The most beautiful and enjoyable drive I had in Texas was the drive by LBJ's ranch. I had no idea. Similarly, East Washington is flat unless you head north from I-5. Terrain goes from nothing but flat rolling wheat fields to huge pine trees and the Selkirk Mountains. Anyway, very good. Thank you. You must be a truck driver or something. Tom Wilson says, he, I had, he says, had cataract surgery on both eyes, made a big difference. Gas here in North Dakota is 207 per gallon. Well, it's $1.83 here. You can actually get it for $1.79 at, at one place. 
and and oil prices are just plunged again this morning down another eight <laughs> percent. Other than it's twenty nine dollars a barrel. Jeez, yeah, that's 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 hurting these West Texas oil people. I guarantee you. Wolfgang Hoffman, thanks for the vid, man. You're welcome. Chet Jorgensen, at Lowe's, shoplift me a case of toilet paper. <laughs> man, I'm telling you, I, I, again, I. I don't understand. I don't care to understand it. Because if I understood, then I'd be one of the sheeple. Uh, C. Lynn, it's the hair. The reason you look so much healthier in the more recent videos, I think, you used to have it slicked back and now you don't. Looks better the way you wear it now, just my opinion. I'm not a hairstylist or anything. Well, actually, what I do in the mornings, I, ju I just brush it back. Which are, Sometimes it parts in the middle and sometimes it parts here. Sometimes it doesn't part anywhere, and I just comb it forward and look like one of the three stooges. So that's the way that goes. William R. Kirkland. Another drive video. Yep, love them, love them. For an, for an old man, you're doing the best with what you have, except the singing, and that's tolerable. <laughs> tolerable, a word I use a lot <clears throat> about my wife's cooking. <clears throat> but, of course, in her case, that's pretty darn good. Anyway. Thanks for all your videos and associated chatter. Well, thank you, William R. Kirkland. I appreciate your comment. Now, this comment's related to the something I said in the video about in Austin, Texas. They were limiting the gatherings of people to 250 people, but three groups of 100 is okay. That's according to Nanoc Ofocio or something like Ofocio. Uh, anyway, judgment comes from experience, and experience comes from bad judgment. That's about true. This is on the truck camper installation, the Lear camper top, the Lear 180. Ed Pepler looks great. Should have shown them running the wiring for your third brake and interior light. Well, why would I do that? I mean, I just wanted to show you the camper top. Anyway, thank you, Ed. <clears throat> Carol Canny on uh, driving vid. Hello, Rusty. Good day. Same to you, Carol. Enjoy your enthusiasm each day. Life is good. Thank you for your positivism, positivism, positivism. Friend, you are the sunshine on a cloudy day. Well, Carol, you can be your own sunshine. And that's what you got to do. You got to take care of yourself. You know what I mean? Make your own sunshine. Can you do it? It's all right here in your mind. Take charge. Randog 1951. Sir, I tried for El Capitan, Capitan, Capitan using my Rand McNally at Atlas. It's not there. Wikipedia helped me find it. It's actually just called Capitan. Uh, I had the contractor that totally rehabbed the little house. I ended up with my gravel in my backyard. I forgot to ask for weed blocking material first. You may want to have that done. Otherwise, the weeds may grow. Okay, that's a good idea. I, I may do that. Thank you, Jimmy and Kathy Harrell again. Beautiful Hill Country Drive. Enjoyed the video. Thank you. John Gre Grease or Grise? Grease, I think. Here in Elkhart, Indiana, gas is 187 a gallon. Never thought we would see that again. Love the ride-alongs. Rusty, keep them coming. <clears throat> No, I didn't either. I figured gas would hang around fifty to sixty dollars a barrel, and so did everybody in West Texas <laughs> out there fracking. Theo Outdoors, uh, just as feedback, I could sit and watch videos like yours and your driving video every day, like having a beer at a bar with a guy, with a good guy who has the gift of telling stories. Just simple down-home type of talk. That's tough to find anymore. So thank you, Rusty. Well, you're very welcome, Theo. This is Beth Stamper. Hello, Beth Stamper. Uh, this is on the driving thing. I just saw this on a video of a little snoozy RV, and they took casita swivel seats and mounted them on a base, and, and the seats still swivel. Okay. I thought of you because you mentioned in one of your videos about doing something different with yours. <clears throat> I don't know if you can see the picture or not. If you can't, feel free to email me and I will send it your way. Okay, well, I'll check it out. Thank you, Beth Stamper. 
but I don't plan on making any changes in my RV other than to get me a southern mattress mattress designed for my casita and I'm probably going to order it today because I'd like to get it in here before I go to Capitan. Freedom, thank you Beth. Free, free Farm Kentucky, funniest video you have done. The name of the video is Mars. Arrived on Mars. Yeah, you got to check that one out, guys. <clears throat> that was, I was insane at the moment. Jamie Macon. Hello, Jamie Macon. I never get bored of your driving videos, so keep on making them. Okay. Deborah Delario's got two here. Hoover Valley Road. Yep, true. Shelves at HEB and Burn It are bare. Is that where you're heading? No, I, I went to the HEB in uh, Marble Falls. But, you know, what it is, you know, it, it, fear does crazy things to people. Like, uh, I lived along the Gulf Coast of Texas for several years, many years ago, and I have a sister, two sisters still live there. And whenever there's a hurricane in the Gulf of Mexico, it's the same mentality. You know, people go out and buy up all the bottled water, all the toilet paper, all the food they can st stick somewhere, and prepare for a, a, a hurricane that the blow the wind and the the worst part lasts three days, and uh, so they've got enough food to last 300. So and water, <clears throat> but be that as it may, everybody's got to do what they do. I do what I do, and, and you can just, just remember you can also order things from Amazon and have it delivered to your home in two days. Come on, if you need toilet paper, order it. Same price. Tracy Rodriguez, we paid a dollar. 25 a gallon for gas in Oklahoma City, a dollar 25. Wow, <laughs> that's amazing. Deborah Delario, Marble Falls, Lowe's, and HEB. Yeah, I did. Sure did. I'll do it again today. Ray Sprague, Dry Counties in Nevada. We have just about everything, and some of it is legal. <laughs> Smarty. Anyway, I'll do a couple more or three more and shut her down. Bonjour, bye-bye, Bernie. Anyway, he left a link to something. I don't know what that means. Here we go. Dale Pointer's got some poetry for us, so let's get it. Boy, he wrote a good long one here. All right, Dale, let's see what you got here. He's, this is on the driving video, but I don't think it has anything to do with that. It says, your, your humming set me free, Doris Day in the Rock, pillow talk for me. I watched, I, I've watched it nonstop. The two were perfect together. The movies they made were fun. Knock me over with a feather. Doris Day and Rock Hudson. Okay, very good. Our innocence was the show. Rock was the player man. They're seen toe to toe. From there we were a fan. Movies set you free. They allow minutes in life to separate daily misery without the daily strife. Correct. Thank you very much, Dale, for your morning poetry. We appreciate it. Have a good day, Dale. Enjoy your life. Sodbuster 330, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Rusty HEB is limiting purchase on food of canned soup, beans, milk, eggs, chicken as of right now. Might add more stuff to list. Well, actually what you can do, it, it'll take you a few days because they're full on the, on the uh, delivery stuff, but you can order it and they'll pick it for you. And you, just, you have to pay like, well, you can, you can do free delivery or free pickup, rather, and uh, <clears throat> not bad. Anyway, don't worry, guys. You're going to be all right. I guarantee you. Steve Garner, Texans, you got to love them. At 348, he says he'll do a semi-360, LOL. <laughs> you like that, huh? A semi-360, you got me? It's pretty good. <laughs> Gavin H., I saw all that you can eat catfish sign in the beginning. We jokingly... All we jokingly call them sewer bass, but they can be tasty at times. Uh, yeah, well, you know, a, a lot of pl places around here have that. Uh, Mike Ellis says audio is kind of distorted. Yeah, it was. I know that because sometimes I get the mic too close, and and the Google Pixel has is really sensitive to that. And if I talk loud, it gets a little ringing noise. So I have to watch that. Yeah. It's, uh, then so Mike at 20SM says. Uh, not sure what changed with the audio, but it seems maybe the mic was too close this time. Yeah, it was. Uh, anyway, 
But anyway, guys, all I can tell you is, is enjoy your life one day at a time. And uh, that's it. I'll see what I can do uh, for a video today. I'll come up with something, hopefully. But anyway, guys, thumbs up. Carpe diem. Adios. Bye-bye. Buy anything you want anytime. But if you think about it, use the link to Amazon products in the description of all of my videos. Why? Well, it doesn't cost you a penny. It doesn't cost you one penny. But if you want to fool with it, fine. What else? Drink plenty of water. Three or four quarts a day won't hurt you. It's good for you. It'll help you avoid gout, kidney stones. And it'll also help you lose weight because you'll be full of water and you won't want to eat so much. And eating less is the only real way to lose weight. I hate to tell you. But anyway, having said that, what else? Take deep breaths. Breathe in deeply through your nose or your mouth. Doesn't matter which. Just take a good deep breath. Hold it for a few seconds and then breathe out slowly. Why? Because uh, it's good for you. you you'll, you'll feel better. And uh, you, you, what, no, it, uh, taking deep breaths lowers stress. And lowering stress lowers your blood pressure, which is great for you. Then stretch, stretch, stretch. Swivel, swivel, swivel. Walk, walk, walk. Pedal, pedal, pedal. Exercise your body once or twice a day. Why, there's a bird out here whistling. It's kind of got me distracted. You may not hear it. But anyway, it's just whistling. But anyway, uh, there it was. <clears throat> but anyway, exercise your body once or twice a day. Why? Because you'll feel better, number one. And then you may live healthier a little longer. Isn't that good? Yeah, I think so. It's just a cute little bird. Anyway, uh, what else? Uh, stand guard at the door of your mind. Do not let negative Nancy or negative Ned get inside of your head. This is your head, your brain, your frontal lobes, your consciousness. And believe me, they're using dump trucks to dump negativity in your brain now. They were just using spoons, and now they've got dump trucks. I mean, they back them up right to your head and... You know, they're going to make you miserable no matter what you want to do. You know, if you want to try to be happy, no, we're not going to allow that. We're going to make them miserable, miserable. Anyway, accentuate the positive, eliminate the negative, and enjoy your, your life one day or one moment at a time. Adios, amigos. We'll do something else later. Adios. Bye-bye. Carry on. Enjoy your life. <laughs> Bye.